Good morning, this is Michael. It is um, Friday, March 17th, 2017. Um, Rosie and I are coming to you from our walk and um, it's, it's 47 degrees, but it feels comfortable out here. Um, it's really weird perspective. You know, a couple of days ago it was 27 and I was freezing to death and now it's 47 and I, I really feel kind of comfortable. Um, I wanted to talk about um, perspective and talk about Fitz's latest podcast, which by the way, the, the frequency that, that you you um, release those podcasts is perfect to me. Um, you've got podcasts that I won't, I'm not naming, naming names, but they release their episodes two and three times a week and it's just, it gets to be overwhelming. You've got to pick and choose what do you listen to and it's not, it doesn't have the, um, the, the anticipation factor when you get ready to listen to one. You don't really eagerly look forward to, to getting them like yours. And then there's others that I know that um, you don't know how long it's going to be. I mean, it can be a month, three months, six months, two weeks. You just, you just never know. Um, the light is doing something really weird with my eyes. But anyway, so Fitz, I think it's the perfect frequency that you're releasing. It's not a burden on you. So your, your time is, is, you know, um, the most important factor when doing this, but we look forward to it. It's something that we anticipate and, 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 you know, really are excited about getting those new episodes. So I think it's the perfect frequency. So, um, one of the things that Fitz talked about in the most recent podcast and I'm gonna gonna spin this into a different way um, is is um, celebrating small victories and I want to talk about um, one of the things that, that she said she mentioned leading me into that is Christine told me I would be hearing this and I'd go oh and I'd, I'd miss this but Fitz mentioned in looking for running clubs she mentioned uh, my hometown of Mobile Alabama and I loved living there because it was a great community it was a great city it was right on the water it was close to the beach and we had a fantastic running club it's called the Port City Pacers and they were so tight-knit they were so close they were, but they were so open and welcoming to, to new folks so I loved running with them it was um, it was just a beautiful the courses they ran the people were so nice and here in Birmingham it's harder because it's further to get to where they are um, we do have one locally where I live in Helena but it's 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 not doesn't have the vibe that I like so anyway but in the, the Port City Pacers in the, the, that community in Mobile there was a guy named Joey who always won the, the local races he would win the 5k's uh, that was kind of his his staple he would win the 10k's half marathons even um, but he was the standard he was the fastest person in Mobile um, we everybody knew that you, you knew that when you came came to awards times Joey would be the, the fast, fastest person the fastest male and he would be the, the number one so um, along comes a guy named Sam Samson. Um, and now Samson is from Kenya and a friend of mine will discovered or met Samson and introduced him to these local races and Samson right now is about 35 maybe and he is an awesome guy I really like Samson he's a great friend of mine um, but Samson came in and he started his the very very first 5k in Mobile and he clobbered Joey I mean he he by several minutes he beat Joey and from then on we realized that Joey was not the standard um, Samson came along and he he pretty much shattered every record Joey had set locally and our perspective changed mine especially because he's I'm talking about Stephanie Shemansky super fast um, Samson is like amazing and if you look at his race pictures um, mine I look like a zombie and I, can, I can't hardly see the photographer to, to figure out when to pose but Samson it looks like he's a gazelle he's just effortlessly running his muscles are just you know so fine-tuned his face looks so relaxed and I'm look I look like I'm dying but Samson is the standard now so we had to change our perspective and uh, talking about this so in the podcast and at the same time Julie Marie now and I hope I'm saying your last name right talked about posting and sharing small victories and you know that's something that Fitz talked about and it's something that Julie said also and I love it when folks post small victories and I have people that I, I introduce to the hotties that um, you know they don't they don't post in the group regularly, if at all, but they tell me when they see me, Michael, I'm, I'm down eight pounds, or Michael, I have a, a new dress size that I'm wearing, or, you know, people get excited, and um, I love to, to see the small victories, because that's one of the things that the, the hottie community is all about, is celebrating the success of everybody, and when Julie, when you shared that, and we sh when you shared your successes, and a few other folks started going in, and, and you know, people, you know, even me, were, were posting about, getting into a new pants size or, you know, 
just small victories, whether it's a new size that you're wearing, um, like Fit said, a PR on your own treadmill, um, getting up early on a Saturday morning to run, or you know, just whatever, doing cross training, doing strength training, doing swimming, you know, whatever the small victories is, I love reading those and it encourages me, it inspires me, it motivates me to keep going forward. So um, perspective, don't, don't think that you have to lose 10 pounds. Don't think that you have to have a, a major milestone or, or goal that you break um, to, to share your successes because I love reading that. It's such a positive thing. You know, Facebook is fed with, is, is just littered with so much um, negative things, tr political posts, news, things that are, they're sad stories. And when it's personal success stories, I love reading that. So, um, Put it in perspective. Share your success stories. Um, share your the things that, that you're proud of. And um, the hotties, we're gonna 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 really um, congratulate you and celebrate that with you. But I love reading those. And Julie, you know, I hope I pronounced your last name. Thank you for doing what you did and sharing what you did. And some others have shared that that same thing too. But yours is the one that, that stuck out. So y'all have a great day. Be all in. Get to work and get ready for the weekend. Bye.